take collage to a smaller scale using hand cut Monterey pine. We're going to begin with our creative medium and this is in our original finish. We'll be using this for adhering down our pieces of paper as well as finishing off and sealing our finished collage. We also have some great papers from our friends at Authentique paper and this is from the beautiful collection. We're going to be using our Memento Lux in the Morocco color, brush stick for applying our creative medium and an ink blusher for adding a little bit of ink as well. And of course we can't forget our great fine wood embellishment. To begin I'm going to add a little bit of our creative medium directly onto our wood piece. And I'm just going to eyeball line this up. I want a little bit of the polka dot on the bottom there. I'll hold this up there so you can see it. So you can see on the back side, I've got it right there. So I'm just going to even this out a little bit. Perfect. And then I'm just going to use a pair of detail scissors and I'm just going to trim right around the edge. You can also use an X-Acto knife if that's your preference for trimming this. And this doesn't have to be exact because we are going to add a little bit of ink to hide our edges when we're finished. Now I'm going to add my first small embellishment piece of paper. This is the little stripe paper. And if you notice, I've already edged this with our Memento Lux in the Morocco color. I'm just going to flip that over. I have a little bit of creative medium on my brush stick. I'm just going to add that onto here. And I'm just going to layer that. Eyeballed right up here in the corner. Perfect. Next we're going to add our little ruler piece. And again, I'm just going to flip this over on the back. And I'm just going to add a little bit of creative medium onto it. And this piece I also edged with our Memento Lux in the Morocco. So now I'm just going to line this up. Right up towards the top, a little bit off center. I'm going to flip this over and I'm just going to trim the excess with a pair of scissors. Now I'm going to use our Memento Lux in the Morocco color. And using an ink blusher, I'm just going to pick up some color and I'm going to start edging along the sides of my fine wood embellishment. Nice thing you can do is just bring this over the top edge as well so you finish off that edge but also just add a little bit of color onto the front to pull it all together. And once you finish working your way around your wood embellishment piece, you can just add a piece of ribbon to finish off your project. For more projects and techniques using hand cut Monterey Pine, check out Imagine Crafts on Facebook, Pinterest, and at ImagineCrafts.com.